Yes, there he is. Big Josh, the yes, champ sir. is here. <laughs> <laughs> That yeah. is so cool. This is so cool. So PFL MMA, which is just really cool. Regular yeah. season, playoff championship format. See who can win a million dollars. American Top Team has had several fighters that have yeah. won yeah. PFL fighters a million dollars. We were in South Florida last year for the semifinals and finals. Now, Josh, what's really cool is you're an American Top Team. You're an up-and-coming fighter. You're undefeated at 7-0. and Jeez, the <laughs> Legacy Fighting Alliance, you're a Double champion there, yeah. which is great for you. You're on the rise. You're a local. You're South Florida. Went to Cardinal Gibbons High School in Fort Lauderdale. State champion wrestler with the Chiefs. That is so cool, too. And, yeah. Josh, now, the big thing is, and this is what I want to talk about, PFL announced this new Challenger Series event. And I'm going to read a little bit about it. It's going to be from Universal Studios in Orlando, which is yes, not sir. too far from South Florida. So that's pretty cool in itself. And it's Definitely. going to feature eight events on consecutive Friday nights starting February 18th. Each event will showcase undiscovered fighters who will compete for a PFL contract. Correct. This is all new. This is all great. PFL is taking another step to do something very different. You're part of the first show. Who better to yeah. have on the first show for this series? The big right? job. <laughs> I know, right? I love it. I believe I'm the main event too, so it's gonna be yes. good stick. Yeah. You should be the main event, Oz. <laughs> <laughs> what tell me a little bit more about this and what got you excited about signing up for this? So I think I think um patience is always a virtue uh during this during this time, you know, but um I think the the PFL they bring like a new type of strategy to the game, you know, to the MMA business. And um, I think it was just a great choice, not a great choice just for me, a great choice for my team as well. My father, I got Dan Lambert here, and and I got to hear those guys out. You know, I got to hear their advice they give me, and it just it just not this wasn't the best choice. It felt like the best choice, you know. I felt like I was doing exactly uh, what I need to do, and I'm exactly where I need to be, you know. Still taking my time, still making those steps, and obviously got to better myself financially. Well, it's you know? interesting because, Josh, really, that you have been patient, yeah. and you've been training hard and working hard at this, but everything has not been like, oh, let's do this. Let's jump into this. It's been very methodical. I've noticed that with the way you've been training and, and fighting and preparing for this. Maturity-wise, yeah. how do you feel as a fighter and also as a person? being able to take this next step man i feel super uh mature you know i train with the best guys um in the world and um i think one thing for mma that's very important is uh not having a false sense of confidence you know um, there's always this great confidence that a fighter may have but that's just within him you have to sh you have to show that you're confident you have to know that you're confident i think at american top team I just grew so much in that department where I don't have that many fights, you know, not compared to some other fighters, but I feel like I'm right there neck to neck with these guys. And um, my competition level is through the roof right now. You know, I want to win. I, I Right now I put myself in position to make some good changes in my life, you know, and I knew these changes were coming. It was just a matter of time, you know, so I feel super mature. I feel super seasoned. I feel super like, uh, I've been waiting for this moment very patiently, just slow roasting the chicken, you know, just slow roasting it. <laughs> so what are you doing? You're frying the chicken, you're roasting the chicken. What are you we're doing roasting. there? How do you, you, that's we're, a part of the diet. Yeah, we're roasting the chicken, man, get a, get, getting all the flavors right on point. That way we can have a nice, nice meal. You know, <laughs> you have a meal, you have a, buff, a buffet, a buffet. A buffet, of a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with what the PFL could offer, you get a whole buffet. <laughs> you do get a whole buffet. It's so interesting. And, and the fighters there, I was wondering, Josh, when it, when they came to South Florida last year at Hard Rock Live at the Seminole Hard Rock Casino for the semifinals and the championships, were you able to attend? And if so, what did you think of it? Of course. Um, I went to several several of the, the fights, and I loved, I loved the whole um, season, the season, you know, they – they, it's very similar to like NFL and soccer, you know, it's like a season. We, we know when the fights are going to happen. You kind of know who you're going to fight. You know, I just like, I like the whole, um, 
blueprint of the show, you know, and obviously I had teammates that I helped fight in it. Um, and they're coming back too. And, um, I got familiar with something that, um, I didn't know I was going to go to the PFL, but it feels good to, to be familiar with it beforehand. You know, Josh, who did you help? Um, I, I helped a couple guys. I, I helped shoe face the guy who won it last year, <laughs> me and him, you know, and, and me and him are great friends, man. You know, um, he's happy for me. Um, you know, the, I think that's a good problem. We're both going to make some money together, you know? So that, that's a great problem to have. And I helped Omari, too. Um, I helped Jordan Young, too. Unfortunately, he passed away. But I, I helped him a lot, too, and stuff. So it's good. It's all in-house, man. You know, we, we keep everything in-house. And uh, feels good. I, I, I think it's no better feeling than making some money with your teammates, you know? Well, but very interesting with Antonio Carlos Jr., Sue Face, winning the PFL championship and that million dollars. Yeah. Josh, do you even process or think about that do you think about the end game and winning that million dollars yeah man um of course I, I i take every step one by one you know um every fight one by one but of course man it's hard not to think about the million dollars you know that i'm I'll, I, you could go to the gas station buy some lottery tickets and and possibly win but this time i'm, I'm in position where i think it's a little bit better than some lottery tickets you know what i mean um i, I could actually do something um this year and not that i wasn't doing nothing these past couple of years but i think uh what's that one saying i could finally um um collect the labor of or when we, the fruits of your labor or something like that you know i could go collect now you know i've deposited so much into the bank now it's time to go get that check you know and take it one fight at a time and if, if me and shoe face end up dealing with each other towards the end like i said it's gonna be a good problem that's a good problem to have you know, that means we're both doing our doing our part. Keeping it all in the American top team family, too. Yeah, man. That's all it's all that's all it's all about. <laughs> and I'll say this. Hey, the lottery tickets, you know what the odds are of winning? I'll take it'll be much better odds, Josh winning this thing than buying that lottery ticket. I'm, yes, sir. I'm betting on you, Josh. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got that right. <laughs> oh man. Well, Josh, hey, you were a double champion, and I'm curious. For this tournament, for this Challenger Series, I should say, PFL Challenger Series, which will stream on FUBU TV and air on FUBU Sports Network. And like yep. I said, it begins starting February 18th, and it'll go each Friday for eight Fridays. Eight fighters will win contracts for PFL. Yeah. And Josh, you're a, a double champion, so I'm curious. You're going to be in the light heavyweight. Were there thoughts of trying another weight class or no? No, I mean for PFL, um, the 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 whole strategic for the PFL for my team and I was we're gonna go like heavyweight. You know, we we saw it like if we're gonna go to PFL, let's go get let's go for the big the big show. You know, let's uh, you know I, I'm at American Top. I'm always developing there. There's no need to develop any other places or whatever. Let's just go. Let's get after the big show. You know, so that was always the game plan going into the PFL. We're trying to get that million. You know. And Josh, could you be the first double champion, $2 million winner in PFL MMA history? I'm looking at the end game. I'm looking at the future. You're looking at the future, man. That'd be nice. You know, one, not one, but two. That'd be super cool. That would be awesome. I don't know if it's, it can be done with the weight classes, but if they allowed it, that would be so cool to be able to fight two weight classes, being two champions, although it would be a lot for one night. I would say that. No, no, for sure would be would be a lot and stuff. And I, I think they were trying to do a middleweight division, but you know, it's it's hard to run a company. It's hard to run things. But who knows? One fight at a time. We'll see. Maybe next year or some. <laughs> hey, Josh, did you did you always know you would become someday an MMA fighter? I obviously you mentioned your dad and all he's accomplished and his accomplishment is just tremendous with American Top Team co-founder, his career. All the people, all the fighters, as he's helped along the way, it's just amazing. But is that something that you always thought of even when you were little, that MMA was going to be something I would do later on? Yeah, man. Growing up, I always thought um, MMA, jiu-jitsu, grappling was always a kind of a necessity because I grew up around it. I always thought people knew it, too, in school. You know, I, hey, guys, I'm going to do jiu-jitsu. You know, at the time, people didn't uh, necessarily know what it is, Um it's always been around in my life, you know, until I got a little older, 
then I really thought to myself, I said, well, I could really do something with this, you know? Um, so yeah, it's always been in the back of my mind. You know, I've always wanted to, I've always, I love competing in general. Um, and I knew the fighting was always like a special asset that I, fortunately I have in my life, you know, and it's amazing and I'm super blessed for it. Super fortunate. And Josh, just, well, just the prestige of fighting and becoming an MMA fighter has changed so much from when your father first started with all of this. And just, you see ESPN and ESPN Plus covering UFC and all these major outlets and money start now coming in more for the fighters and all. That had to be a, a, an added bonus for you. For sure, man, for sure. Um, I, I didn't know it was going to blow up the way it did growing up, you know. It was very in-house back in the day. You know, just a handful of guys um, really didn't make too much money. We just we just loved doing what we do, you know. And, hey, we'll take this positive note, too. If it's the fastest-growing sport in the world, that's amazing. You know, I'm in the right place in the right time, not just for myself, but for, um, for my career, you know. Sometimes I, I joke with my dad. I'm like, man, you know, imagine if you would have gotten into fighting now. You could have been making – some good 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 money you know but we need pioneers you know we need the people to we need the sacrifice in the front end sometimes <laughs> don't make your dad mad <laughs> like, oh, i've seen conan i know your dad i don't want to make i don't want anyone to make him mad now you're new Josh. don't make him mad don't talk don't talk about the old days and <laughs> and no not as much money i now it's good everything's good yeah, no, 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 we don't. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got to ask you a few more questions and, and a little bit about ATT, American Top Team, the best training facility in the world, and it's right here in South Florida, Coconut Creek. You went to Cardinal Gibbons High School. Do you keep in touch with the Morris twins? Now they're coaching over there. Two of your teammates coaching, yeah. are back in the day. Jamil and Jamel. No, I do keep in touch. I still, I still owe them a little visit. You know, I, I believe on Tuesdays they have like, um, they have like alum nights. You know, where the, all the guys come in and they'll work out. So I, I gotta go show my face, go take down some of the young guys, let them know, let them know that, um, you know, there's still some some records they still have to beat. You know. <laughs> yeah, no, they're not gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna be. Everyone's gonna be scared. They're all gonna run away. They're all gonna. They're gonna no, see you coming no, in the room and it's like, oh no, no, no. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. I'm nice. I'm nice. <laughs> hey, it's it's so interesting to see your career and just see the how you've evolved as a respectful, always a respectful young man, and now respectful in the sense of what you're doing and who you're training with and who you're fighting. It's always been like that. I'm curious, Josh, because part of the MMA world, some of it, not all of it, is the trash talking. Some fighters do that. Some fighters don't. That does not seem like that's in your DNA. That's not something you do. More or less, you let your fighting yeah. do the talking. No, no, uh, not too much. You know, like I, I grew up with all this, this in my life. So I've seen the trash talking grow, and I've seen guys um, sell out sometimes. You know, I, I know some guys that are that they aren't how they are on camera. But, you know, for me, it's just being myself. I think I have a cool personality anyways. You know, my mom and dad are from Brazil. I'm a nice laid back guy. You know, um, I like to do my talking on the mat or in competing, you know. And I think it's cool. I, I like to be the good guy, you know. Don't get me wrong, though, you know. I got to talk a little smack sometimes here and there. You know, I'll, I'll do it because it for me. <laughs> yep. Yes, that's right. Don't poke the bear do not poke the bear yeah <laughs> all right josh i gotta we're gonna wrap this up and i have to ask you about american top team too and I, I do want you to name drop i want to know some of the coaches you've been working with i also want to know some of the fighters you've been sparring with because it's a who's who over there yeah so so obviously i always got my dad with me you know conan severa he's always with me um I got Steve Mako always with me too, my wrestling coach. Um, I got uh, his name is Rocco Fabricio, but we call him Alemo. He's always been helping me out. Uh, Luis Ciano, we call him Macajon, helps me out with the uh, mitts. Cartel, 
you know, um, we have so many coaches. We just, we shuffle to them, you know. And then we got this new boxing coach. They're called the Oliveira brothers. So we had Gabriel there, and now we have his other brother there. And I've been working a lot with him. We call him P2. P2 is P-I-T-U. His name is P2. His name is Ivan. Yeah, his nickname is P2, but we call him Ivan. And he's my boxing coach, and uh, we they're, they're, they're the Oliveira brothers, so they, they're big in Brazil, but we got them both here now, American Top Team, and it's it's been great, man, you know? And uh, obviously, I got Mike Brown over there, too. He's been helping me with some things here and there. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not too um, – I don't get too superstitious about different coaches because now I might be able to potentially fight my teammates, but I use whatever – I use everything, you know? And I've known all these guys since I was a kid too so it's a it's a good relationship how's sal doing sal's doing great man he's fine for uh, i believe he's fine for a belt man i think he's gonna be fine for a belt soon so i love sal man he where he works so hard it's really great to see both you guys just do well and continue to grow as fighters that's awesome okay josh i'm gonna let yeah. you go you mentioned also you mentioned mako How's that Mako wrestling dungeon there in the back? Hey, man, this is the shirt right here, the big bear. The big bear. <laughs> here we go, the big bear, man. You got That's the polar bear in there. He, he crushes anybody still. <laughs> crushes anyone still, man. Oh, yeah. man. Well, listen, Josh, it's interesting, too, because when we'll wrap it up on this. We got the big PFL MMA challenger series coming up this is going to be awesome you're in the first show in the main event that is also cool from universal studios orlando and just it's going to be awesome each week to see this and see you grow with pfl mma but i gotta ask you this dan lambert talk about smack talking he's been on the aw professional wrestling circuit and he brought in Junior Dos Santos and Paige and Sants and Jorge Mastodal and yeah, Austin man. Vanderford. It goes on yeah, and on and man. on. And I wonder, Josh, would you go, if he invited you, would you go on a show? I mean, yeah, you know, if the cards play right, I'll, I'll go on the show. I'll, I'll, I'll drop some some kicks and elbows or whatever or or kick someone in the nuts or something like that, you know, some some good old wrestling stuff but yeah Dan loves that stuff man and I think that's all I think that's all important to tie that all in you know even though it's a different it's a different world but it's still good man the fans love it you know they're they're energetic it's good to ha to keep to keep both worlds kind of in link with each other you know so well, and Josh I don't know if did you get to see Junior he had a, a wrestling match over in AEW a tag match yeah, no, I, I saw I saw that match. It was good, man. It was good. It was his first time doing. It. I think he did great. You know, it's really cool. And is that and, something? Uh, is that something you have your eye on maybe in the future? Who knows, man? Who knows? You know, right now I gotta go worry about this this PFL stuff. But let let's go win some money first, and then get my name out there some more, get the world to know me a little bit better, and then we'll see what's up. You know. He can do it all. I say he can do it. I want to be in your corner, Josh, when you're in that wrestling ring. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, yes Josh. sir. <laughs> hey, Josh, thank you so much. I'm so glad for you. I want to wish you all the successes in the world for you. You and your family are, you. are just amazing and awesome. And thank you all so much. I appreciate the interview, man. And always great talking to you, man. And whenever you want to reach out and have some, some more conversations, let's do it, man. Let's do yes. it. Yes. Yes. We will. We will. Josh. Thanks, Jay. <laughs> All right, Josh. I'll see you later. See you, brother. Peace.